All right, this is the final, final video, actually. Uh, we can't forget exporting. So because Audacity is an uh, open source license and there's other issues with the separate license for the software that encodes uh, the Audacity format into an MP3 format, these, these are separate things. So um, in order to install the library that you'll need for Audacity to encode the um, uh, Audacity program, the Audacity file into a playable MP3 format, uh, you'll need to download and install. It's called the Lame Library. Um, and I'll have a link for this website, but this is the website um, we'll get it from. And you know, you choose based on um, of what you have on your computer. Um, this actually <clears throat> comes from the manual. I'm going to probably take you to the manual because that's installing LAME on Mac and then it'll have a different section for installing it on um, uh, PC. But there will be some you know, instructions on how to do that. So um, this is uh, the link that I clicked on to install the LAME library. Um, for me, it was just installing a package. Um, for others, you might have to specify where it goes, but uh, the instructions should be fairly straightforward when you click on those links. And when I get back into Audacity, let's say I'm ready to export as an MP3. And remember, when you do this, this is taking an Audacity file, which allows you to keep editing, and it's uh, saving a separate copy as an MP3. So it's going to reduce everything, collapse it all into a single left and right channel um, sound file. So if you were to re-import this MP3 into Audacity, it would be a single track. So I'm going to say export audio and give it song test podcast as my title. Uh, just now I'll save it in my documents. I'm specifying MP3 as the type. Uh, just go ahead and leave it at standard quality, uh, joint stereo, uh, all that stuff. That's good. <clears throat> and it's warning me that my tracks are going to be mixed down. I'm saying okay. Now this will be good to fill out here, just some metadata uh, to keep track of some things. So as much as you can, uh, go ahead and put that in there. And say okay for now. And here's the process where if I didn't have the encoder for MP3s, and it would, you know, kind of give me a message that said it needs to find it. But in some cases, it might ask you to locate um, the library when you've put it on your computer. For me, it didn't do that. Um, I'm just going to go into my documents. And there is test podcast that I just created. And that I could email, you know, save somewhere, store in Google Drive, etc., upload to Canvas as my submission. But this is what you do when you are completely done, 100% done, ready to turn this in, kind of a thing. Otherwise, just leave it in the .aup format so you can keep working on it. Um, you don't want to add more and more work for yourselves. So that's exporting. It's a little clunky, and uh, I'll put the links below this video for accessing the lame library files.